Hey everybody, welcome to another model building workshop. I am Mr. Allen, and today we're going to talk about, if I'm pronouncing this right, the Fuga CM170 Magister. Um, it's Fuga Rafalga, but it's a French plane. Initially uh, designed and produced in France, it was initially uh, done by Fuga and later by Pote. And this is a uh, two-seat jet basic trainer. And according to the uh, airfixes right up here, it was the first basic jet trainer to enter military service. And the first ones flew in 1952. And the full production machines entered the French Air Force in 1956, with 387 being delivered. And it has a butterfly tail, which is pretty unique. And this gained widespread acceptance around the world and countries like Belgium, uh, let's see, the Luftwaffe in the post war era, and Finland, you know, bought these and used them. Israel also grabbed uh, some of these and they made trainers and even ground attack aircraft craft out of these. And another, ugh, a number of other countries also followed suit and placed orders as well. So this is an airfix kit, a 172 scale. I'll walk you through the instructions here. This is one of the airfix kits, and we've talked a lot about airfix on this channel here. So you can see it's got a nice cockpit detail there. It's got the typical Airfix style instruction sheet. Oops. Again, it has the, the paints are numbered from the uh, Humbrol line. Very straightforward build, really. And there's a whole number of issues going on here on this one and how to paint these too depending well, how you want to do it wheels up wheels down again you put some weight in one of these and you have a couple of painting options that come with this kit so one is with a light strike squadron of the Irish Air Force in 19 97 is that one and then there's also a plane here for Belgium in 83-84 and a nice camouflage scheme with the Belgium roundels you can see all the decal placement and it's got all the stencils and all that you can work with if you so desire. This is the decal sheet here. Because what I ended up doing with this kit, and here's the kit, is I wanted to do one in the Cambodian Air Force emblems for a number of reasons. So this is a basic version of the plane and all metallic, all silver. You can see that there, this is an old Airfix mold and you can see that there is the you know, kind of a prominent mold scene there. Comes with it, although the cockpit wasn't bad, it's kind of interesting. But I kept this one pretty basic as a Cambodian plane because I was using this at the library, the Smith Hill Library, as a demonstration model because I was working with some kids and I wanted to show them some different options, different things you could do with a model kit and how aftermarket decals, you can, you can do whatever you want. You can make things however you want them to look. And I had a group of kids that were... Um, 
ethnically Cambodian, and I wanted to let them know, hey, you can do the Cambodian Air Force if you want. Here's some examples. So that was one of the reasons I decided to do this, was just show them, you know, you can do model building, and if the varieties aren't to your liking, the, the, with aftermarket decals and things like that, you, you can really open up this, to, this hobby to represent uh, a lot of other subject matter. I mean, this, this kit's pretty good in the fact that it's got Belgium and Ireland, which are unusual uh, decal options. But there's many more you can find. So that's why I wanted to demonstrate that, hey, we can do we can do Cambodia. And while I'm on that topic, I can get this to come down. Get everything else coming down. <laughs> uh, sometimes we get a little carried away in this workshop. Another example, you can do Laos. This is the uh, and South Vietnam. And this was for the, uh, it's a Fiesler Stork aircraft that was used post-war in uh, post -war, it's a world war ii aircraft but it was used during the vietnam war and you get those decals so anyway the point being is i was building this little airfix model jet to demonstrate the endless possibilities of the hobby so it's a fun little build this is not one of the newer uh, Airfix remastered kits. This is an old one. But it was still fun to build. Kind of a basic one. Not hard to put together. Kid friendly and was a good uh, demonstration piece. Anyway, that's uh, a quick talk about the Magister. Alright, we'll see you guys soon. Alright, keep building. Bye now. <laughs>